And we're getting a clearer picture tonight from inside the Varner Maximum Security Prison, where sweeps for contraband have been going on all week long. The raids follow the deaths of five inmates this week. Prison officials suspect illicit drugs could be to blame. Tonight, we're also learning ADC leaders are being called to testify at the Capitol. KRK4's Mitch McCoy is live at the state Capitol tonight with what we know about the hearing and his exclusive interview with that inmate inside the prison. Yeah, Ashley, good afternoon. A lot of moving parts to this story. That subcommittee hearing is going to be happening Tuesday afternoon. That's before state lawmakers. Tonight, we're getting an exclusive interview and a story you'll hear only on KRK. An inmate talks with me about what's happening inside prison walls. He tells me he got the cell phone he used to call me through another inmate who allegedly purchased it from a correction officer. From his Varner unit jail cell, this inmate who does not want to be identified says synthetic marijuana, an illegal drug in Arkansas, is being smuggled into the prison. He says what's being spread now is different, though. The bats just going around and, and, uh, I guess he says the illicit drugs like K2, which is suspected to be a contributing factor to five inmate deaths at Varner Supermax earlier this week, is easy to get. Guards are bringing it in for the most part. How much does K2 cost? I'm at the end of my rope with this. State Senator Joyce Elliott, who's on a subcommittee responsible for oversight of the Arkansas Department of Corrections, says its director has had too many chances. I am not supporting um, Wendy Kelly. I am not supporting um, a system that continues to have the problems that we're having now. ADC confirms Kelly was previously scheduled to be out of state, so she will not be at a Tuesday Stay hearing before lawmakers where other prison deputy directors will discuss what's being done to keep drugs out. We're told ADC is working right now on compiling a report that will show what contraband was found this week during sweeps at the Varner unit for contraband. In the meantime, that prisoner you just heard from tells me that other inmates have taken it upon themselves to stop smoking in the barracks, K2 specifically. The barracks is where all of the inmates are housed. They are now smoking the K2 in the hallways, even the showers at the Varner unit. We are live at the state capitol. Mitch McCoy. KRK 4 News.